Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today we got another fur bear profile in which I'll introduce an animal that can be trapped and talk about their general description, reproduction, diet, and typical ways to trap. Today's video is more about nuisance animal versus a fur bearer, which is pocket gophers. Physical description. Pocket gophers are rarely seen as they spend most of their time underground. They are named for their external fur-lined cheek pouches which are used to carry food and extend from the side of the mouth to the shoulders. The gopher is a medium-sized stocky rodent with a short neck, small flat head, small ears, small eyes, large clawed front feet, and visible front teeth. Their soft fur is brown to yellowish brown with pale underparts. Adults are 2 to 8 ounces and are 6.5 to 10.2 inches long. Habitat Numerous species of pocket gophers live throughout the United States and Canada. They inhabit agricultural fields, grasslands, meadows, lawns, and partially wooded areas. They cannot live in fully forested areas as they need ground cover ve vegetation and forests prevent that vegetation from growing. Unlike ground squirrels, gophers do not live in large communities and seldom find themselves above ground. Tunnel entrances can be identified from small piles of loose soil covering the opening. Burrows are in many areas where the soil is softer and easily tunneled. Gophers often visit vegetable gardens, lawns, or farms as they are the most moist soil. This has led to their frequent treatment as pets. Biology Typically, northern pocket gophers are territorial and solitary, except during breeding season, which is usually between March and June. A litter of 4 to 7 young are born after 18 to 20 days. The young are fully grown after 3 to 6 months. Usually these gophers live 1.5 to 2 years in the wild as owls, hawks, badgers, weasels, foxes, coyotes, skunks, bobcats, and snakes prey upon them. Their diet includes roots, bulbs, grasses, herbs, and tubers. A typical tunnel system is 148 to 197 feet in which they dig with their front teeth and feet. Their lips close behind their incisors to keep dirt out of their mouths. Trapping. Because of the potential damage to machinery and livestock, pocket gophers are controlled by poisoning and trapping, and in some states, county governments offer a bounty of 50 cents to $2 per pocket gopher. The only real gopher trapping method is to set special lethal traps down in the tunnels. These traps are a type of body grip trap that snaps shut on the gopher and kills it on contact. The way to set these traps is to find an established tunnel routes underground. One can see the tunnel pass via the dirt mounds and use a probe stick. Dig up the earth exposing the tunnel then set the traps inside. Usually multiple traps are set, coming and going. Then carefully bury the trap with dirt over top. Mark the trap locations with a garden flay. To check the traps, come back later and dig them up. It is best to wait a few days before checking. A good trapping program will use a lot of traps set in the most popular gopher runways and continue for a period of time until all the gophers are trapped and removed. Before we go further into this topic, I'd like to take a moment to ask you all to please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also check out our store to grab some Outdoor Experiences merch. Every subscription, view, and store item sold helps us create more videos for you all to enjoy. Every comment and like helps us get noticed by the YouTube algorithm and helps us reach more videos. Now back to the video. Interesting Facts The name pocket gopher on its own may refer to any gopher within the family Geronomidae. These are the true gophers, but several ground squirrels in the distantly related family Secura, often called gophers as well. The origin of the word gopher is uncertain. The French gaffre means waffle and has been suggested on account of the gopher tunnels resembling the honeycomb-like pattern of holes in a waffle. Another suggestion is that the word is from Muscovian origin. Minnesota is nicknamed the Gopher State and the University of Minnesota's athletic teams is collectively known as the Golden Gophers, led by mascot Goldie Gopher. The Golden Gopher, however, refers to the 13-lined ground squirrel, which is not a member of the family. 
Most gophers are listed as least concerned by the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources Red List of Threatened Species. There are some exceptions, however. The Manchurian pocket gopher is listed as endangered and the big pocket gopher and the tropical pocket gopher are listed as critically endangered, while the desert pocket gopher is listed as near threatened. Thanks for watching this video of outdoor experiences. Please like and subscribe for more outdoor experience and informational videos. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And as always guys, thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.